Hello viewers, welcome to my channel Biology Notes. Today I will discuss about different receptors and co-receptors for interleukin-1 family members. These receptors are necessary for proper biological action of cytokines of interleukin-1 family. Here I have shown different receptors for the cytokines of interleukin-1 family. The receptors may exist either in membrane bound or soluble forms or both. The receptors are the members of the immunoglobulin superfamily. The receptors are interleukin-1 receptor or IL-1R, interleukin-18 receptor alpha or IL-18R alpha, interleukin-1 receptor like 2 or IL-1RL2 or IL-1RRP2, interleukin-1 receptor like 1 or IL-1RL1 or T1ST2. Interleukin-1 receptor exists in two forms. Interleukin-1 receptor type 1 or IL-1R1 and interleukin-1 receptor type 2 or IL-1R2. But IL-1R1 only can transduce signals in response to ligand binding. IL-1R2 is inactive receptor. It acts as IL-1 inhibitor. This is the soluble form of IL-1R1. This is the soluble form of IL-1R2. This is the soluble form of ST2. IL-1-alpha, IL-1-beta, IL-1-RA interact with IL-1-R. IL-18, IL-37 interact with IL-18-R-alpha, IL-36-alpha, IL-36-beta, IL-36-gamma and IL-36-RA and IL-38 interact with IL-1-RRP2 receptor. IL-33 interacts with ST2 receptor. Here I have drawn diagrams of IL-1 receptor. The receptor may be type 1 or type 2. This is type 1 receptor and this is type 2 receptor. The type 1 receptor is an 80 kilodalton transmembrane protein. The extracellular region is 552 amino acids long. Transmembrane region is 22 amino acids long and a long cytoplasmic tail of 213 amino acids. Extracellular ligand binding region consists of three immunoglobulin-like domains. This receptor is capable for signal transduction when binds with IL-1-alpha or IL-1-beta ligands. This is type 2 receptor. It is a 60 kilodalton protein and is similar to the type 1 receptor in its extracellular and transmembrane regions. The type 2 receptor has a short cytoplasmic tail of 29 amino acids and is incapable of signal transduction. Type 1 receptors are found on T cells, endothelial cells, hepatocytes, fibroblasts, keratinocytes, etc. Whereas type 2 receptors are predominant on B cells, monocytes, neutrophils, etc. The IL-1R1 and IL-1R2 may be found in fluid phase. So, this is soluble IL-1R1 and this is soluble IL-1R2. 
they don't have transmembrane and cytoplasmic tail regions they don't have any signal transduction activity now for a complete signal transduction il1 r1 receptor requires the presence of an interacting accessory protein called il1 receptor accessory protein or il1 r a c p when il1 alpha or il1 beta binds to il1 r1 then membrane bound heterodimer of IL1 R1 and IL1 RACP is necessary to activate signal transduction pathways here IL1 RACP acts as co-receptor like IL1 R1 receptor it is formed by three extracellular immunoglobulin like domains a transmembrane domain a unique c terminal tail and an intracellular toll or il1 r homology domain or tir domain we have already read that il1 r a is an inhibitor to il1 alpha and il1 beta so if it binds with il1 r1 then no signal transduction occurs because it prevents the interaction between il1 r1 and il1 racp in this way il1 ra acts as an inhibitor to il1 alpha and il1 beta the il1 racp can also inhibit il1 alpha and il1 beta if it combines with IL1 R2 or remains as a soluble molecule known as SIL1 RACP This is a diagram of interleukin 18 receptor it is composed of the inducible IL18 R alpha chain and constitutively expressed IL18 R beta chain IL18R alpha is an IL18 binding receptor binding of IL18 activate IL18R alpha to form a heterodimer with IL18R beta and mediates intracellular signal transduction here the IL18R beta acts as co-receptor for IL18 receptor now the activity of IL18 receptor can be regulated by a interleukin 18 binding protein or IL18 BP it is a soluble protein and functions as an inhibitor to IL18 the inhibitory action of IL18 BP is enhanced by IL1 F7 or IL37 the IL18 BP binds with IL18 in the fluid phase and prevents the interaction with the IL18 R alpha chain this is a diagram of interleukin 1 receptor like 2 or IL1 RL2 or simply receptor for IL36 it is also known as IL1 receptor related protein 2 or IL1 RRP2 its ligand include all members of the IL36 family which are IL36 alpha IL36 beta IL36 gamma and IL36 RA additionally IL38 is known to bind this receptor the highest levels of this receptor can be found in skin and in mammary and mucosal epithelial cell lines for successful signal transduction the recruitment of co-receptor known as IL1 receptor accessory protein or 
आई एल वन आर ए सी पी इज रिक्वायर्ड इन दिस हेटेरोडाइमर कंडीशन आई एल थर्टी सिक्स अल्फा आई एल थर्टी सिक्स बीटा एंड आई एल थर्टी सिक्स गामा सो दे आर प्रो इनफ्लेमेटरी एक्टिविटी आफ्टर बाइंडिंग टू दिस रिसेप्टर बट इफ आई एल थर्टी सिक्स रिसेप्टर एंटागोनिस्ट और आई एल थर्टी सिक्स आर ए बाइंड विथ आई एल वन आर आर पी टू देन नो सिग्नल ट्रांसडक्शन ऑकर एच आई एल वन आर ए सी पी इज अनेबल टू कॉम्बाइन इन दिस वे आई एल थर्टी सिक्स आर ए सोस इट्स एंटी इनफ्लेमेटरी एक्टिविटी This is a diagram of interleukin 1 receptor like 1 or IL1 RL1 it is also known as T1 ST2 it is a member of the interleukin 1 receptor family the ST2 protein has two isoforms one is soluble form known as soluble ST2 or SST2 and another is membrane bound receptor form known as st2 receptor so this is st2 and this is sst2 for successful biological action this receptor requires a co receptor known as il1 racp this soluble st2 may function as an inhibitor of IL-33 by binding IL-33 in the cell microenvironment. The soluble IL-1-RACP may enhance the inhibitory effects of SST2. So this is all about the different types of receptors of interleukin-1 family members. If you have any query, then please comment share the video if you like subscribe the channel for more upcoming videos stay with us keep watching thank you